these straight edges of the center single crochet when working in a row to start the project you are going to need a four millimeters crochet hook all size g and then any color of yarn but i'm going to use this color so it's easy for you guys to see I'm going to go ahead and chain 21 stitches Once you chain 21 stitches, you're going to go ahead and skip the first stitch from the hook, start single crocheting on the second stitch from the hook. Once you get to the end of the round, go ahead and turn your work. When you turn your work, the working yarn should be to the back of your project. So now we do not work on this stitch. And for you, for you to achieve a straight edge without the gaps, I'm not going to change. So usually what I do on this stitch right here, I'm not going to work on it. So I will start working on the second stitch right here. Go ahead and work on the second stitch. And for you to make the center single crochet, you are going to work it in between the V. And the Vs are the stitches that are in between the two areas that grooves downward. See these areas? So we are going to work in between these areas. Go ahead and have your working yarn to the back of the project. You do not work on the first stitch. You start working working on the second stitch and you are not going to chain at the beginning you work in between the V this V right here
at the end of the stitch what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and work on this edge stitch right here so what you're going to do you pick up that loop right here and then there's another one right there so you pick up those two loops on the corner and then you go ahead and single crochet so that's how you work without losing a stitch and then next you're going to go ahead and turn your work and usually what i do when i turn my work i make sure my working yarn is to the back of the project on the next round again you do not work on the first stitch you go ahead you start working on the second stitch and you're going to work on this v see the v one the one that is grooving downward so those are the loops that you're going to work in between and then you go ahead and single crochet again all the way to the beginning of, of the row one Okay, here is the last stitch again so on the last stitch you just go ahead you work on these two loops as you can see this one at the back here see those ones see those two loops and then you go ahead you single crochet and then your working yarn goes to the back again and you start working on the second stitch and you work as many rounds as you want that's how you work on your centered single crochet without chaining at the beginning of the row so keep on working this is how the progress of my work looks like and this is all i wanted to show you go ahead and crochet as long as you want your project to be once you finish it as you can see this is how my project looks like and the edges are very straight as you can see okay and they are not having any chain at the beginning or at the end of the row go ahead and work it as long as you want it to be for now that's all i wanted to show you on how i do my centered single crochet and this specific stitch i've used it making one of my afghan and my scalp if you want the pattern i will put a link down below so you can have a look at it so until next time this is all i wanted to show you have a good day good night wherever you are in the world